I think it was a Trent zero or um Trent zero zero two for the thirty month resub. Also, you guys, uh, one of the great things is even though I'm here on the road, I actually have like this uh what's it called? I think it's called version or something. Uh, I've got like this version double monitor, so I can actually follow the chat, and it's very much like being at home. So like going forward, I can probably start streaming more on the road. Okay, we get nineteen. I'm gonna play the classic slob opening here with c six and d five. Very standard slob. I go knight f6, and then either after knight f6 here, I can play e6 or bishop f5, depending on which setup white goes for. Yeah, it's the Verzen Portable Monitor. That's what it is. It's called Verzen Portable Monitor. It's like, it was like 600 bucks. It wasn't cheap. Um, but I, so I essentially have um, I have two monitors just on my right, as you guys can see. Although it's a little bit above the eye line. So like when I'm at home, you see me look over. I'm looking at the same eye line as my main monitor, but here it is a little bit higher. So if, if you guys used to watch my regular streams, you're, you'll see me like I'm looking a little bit higher up than I would because at home it's the same. The the, the monitor is the exact same. Whereas here my laptop is lower. So, okay, we got bishop g5. I'm going to play e6 here and try to develop the bishop, maybe. Am I satisfied being the five-time U.S. champion? Oh, I'm very satisfied. I mean, as I said, it would have been nice to have won another one somewhere along the way. But for me, winning the... Uh, I'm going to go here and maybe take b5, maybe bishop b7, maybe bishop b4. Let's go over one of the cheesier lines, the queen a5, bishop b4. This is what's called, in the, called the Cambridge Springs defense. Um... So, yeah, I'm very pleased, and honestly, for me, winning the American Cup in March, I felt was the equivalent of winning a 6th U.S. Championship, so I feel great about it. Um, for anybody who's asking why did I play here in Doha over the U.S. Championship, I told you guys before, uh, I had a scheduling conflict. There was going to be a filming project I was working on in Morocco, in Marrakesh specifically. Then there was this earthquake. There was also an IMF uh, meeting that was happening at the same time, so it ended up getting postponed, but by the time it got postponed, I'd already declined the U.S. Championship. I think I'd declined like a month, month, month at least in advance. Um, so I was left with a big, big hole in my schedule, and the organization here in Doha were very nice. They they invited me to this event, and I figured, why not play? Thank you so much to Cadmo for 38 months. Thank you so much to Jackie Bowie for the prime. Okay, let's go here and put maximum pressure on the diagonal towards the knight on c3. Yeah. Am I prepping for Pravin? Well, today was a rest day, so actually I did do some preparation. Um, I did, did do some preparation earlier already for, for the round tomorrow. Um, obviously, I'll be doing more. Now I'm going to take, because he can't take the queen due to the pin. Um, but yeah, I feel pretty good. What brand is the monitor I've never heard of? It's called Verzen Portable Monitor, V-I-R-Z-E-N. So, all right, you got Bishop D3 now. The problem here is I have no development. Like, you'll see, I've got this nice little um, mini Pyramid of Giza, but I have no development on the queen side. The Bishop and the Rook are very, very passive. There's too much stuff in the way. So since I'm up a pawn here, if I can, I'm going to trade off the queen. So, that, so with queens off the board, it becomes a lot less dangerous for me because eventually I should be able to develop without getting attacked very quickly. So obviously, I'm going to try to trade pieces because I have this extra A pawn that I want to push down the board. What do I do when I get bored of playing chess? Um, I play um, I play Fortnite. That's, that's what I do. Okay, go C5. I'm going to go B6 again, trying to open up the Fianchito for the bishop. Also open up a file for my rook on A8 as well. So now, now I'm just up a pawn. I get rid of another piece. And in the long term, 7 is worth more than 6. Um, 7 pawns are worth more than 6. So we got C4 here. I think, I mean, because we're playing for themes, I'm just going to trade all the pieces down. Again, at the end of the day, I have an extra juicer. So let's go C5. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. He has one, two, three, four, five. So the extra pawn should, should matter. They have JP for the 21. They have tech monster for the 20 months. Appreciate it. Let's take with the pawn, put a rook behind this pawn, and then we're just going to start pushing the P up the board. Is my stepdad also in Qatar? No, he's not. He's actually back in uh, New York. He's back in the United States. Came for a few days at the start. Okay, if he'd taken the rook, I actually had a classic ice skater with rook A1. So he goes rook C1. So let's go rook B4. Try to trade off the rooks again. Try to get a pawn. Push some P up the board. Is the food good out there? The food's great. Yeah, food's great. Goes rook C2. Uh, I'll go here. Try to force a trade of the rook somewhere on this file if I can. Yeah, let's go here. Force a rook off the board. And eventually, you're just going to see that one extra pawn is enough to win the game. Now, if we're playing a top player, I would have probably been a little bit cleaner with my techniques. This is against a top player. I'm not sure I would actually win this. But here, I think I will win. So we've got the kebab with rook B2 hitting the king and the pawns. Let's go king D6. No fork with knight C4 due to the pin. It was king d3. Okay, now I think I'm going to go here to sidestep the fork with knight c4. Uh, Kebab, that is the name that uh, Felix Longjell gave to the uh, to that checkmate. Or not checkmate, to uh, attack on the second rank. So, again, I always try to put, pay homage to the guys who helped me get to where I am today. I'm going to play f5 to hit the knight, hit the pawns. He hangs the knight. Let's just take. Now let's just start pushing the peat. So, yeah, that's an XUC term. Um, let's go here. I can fork him with knight c5, fork him the king of the rook, and then I just push the P, get a queen. And anytime you've got a queen in your life, it's very, very good. Let's take the pawn on f2. Why did he carry shade? Because my beard was getting too long and too annoying. Um, let's go queen c7, maybe. Is there not a forced checkmate? I'm trying to find a checkmate here. I'll go check maybe here. I'm trying to find a forced checkmate. In the, I think there's just forced checkmate. There we go. Um, 